Okay, so first things first, plug in your USB drives, two in the case if you have created them using Windows, or one if you have created them using Mac. Press F12 to bring out the boot menu and select your USB drive. As you can see on, the, on both the screens, uh, we are booting up using the boot drives. In the case of Windows, it's different, Mac, it's only one USB. So, till here, it remains the same. After this, you don't have to worry because both of the installations are pretty much the same thing. Press minus B and boot up. We are fast in the process, so you don't take too much time in that case. So, it's booted up. This installation, using English for main language, uh, will go through the process. It's pretty simple. First, you gotta go to disk utility. Select the disk you want to install OS X on. In my case, uh, I'm gonna be using this partition but I think I should just show you how to do it on a whole with a hard disk okay so what you have to do is uh, go to partition and partition it to how many partitions you want for this case I'm gonna be using one partition change the format to Mac OS extended journals rename it to whatever you want and make sure the partition scheme is GUID partition table uh, you have to click on options for that and then you have to click on the first option that says GUID partition table and then click apply partition this shouldn't take much time well this can happen just do it again and it's all gonna be fine so it's partitioning and deleting the old partitions from this hard drive partitioning complete now you can go ahead and close the utility continue and this is some info about how I made the setup and what it's aimed for. And thanks for your support if you're using this, hopefully. And select your hard disk, customize. Uh, you can just let the whole AMD thing be selected because it's pretty uh, normal to have everything for an AMD build. And if not, you can use it as an Intel build if you don't select that, but not recommended. Okay so the installation will take about 20 to 25 minutes so we're just gonna skip through we're gonna cut the video and come back when the installation is almost done so looking at the installation isn't a really great process you know okay so we're nearing the end less than a minute remaining it says so let's see okay so the new logo and all actually don't worry it's pretty original vanilla core after installation but this is just you know to give it a brand if I will say okay so it's nearing its completion and this might take a while yeah as you can see it's been completed um, a few seconds remaining so we'll just wait for that to pass or just click restart okay so the computer will now reboot It'll, uh, like you have to go to the boot menu again press F12 and select the USB drive that you had previously used to boot into the setup go to hard disk SanDisk Cruiser Blade okay so it's loaded and as you can see we just installed OS X on the drive Mac HD so just press minus V and enter and uh, we are fast in the process so we don't have to wait through the first boot takes a while so we decided that uh, I think we should just skip uh, fast forward the process so it's nearing its completion the startup first startup takes time the others uh, probably won't so as you can see it's booted up we click on show all then click uh, your country and your keyboard options whatever you need uh, it does not connect to internet because I have not included many drivers and all because they might cause errors during the first boot so it's pretty simple in the end and now you got to enter your account name okay account name is coming up okay typing pretty slowly because I was recording while I was doing that so well enter you create a password as you can as it's not connected to internet it cannot determine the location so just unselect that for now and once that's up 
we can select a region or time zone I'll just type my locality name and it should just pop there and just click continue you don't wanna click that do ya so yeah pretty much finished installing and this is the finished product well no bloatware and all that sort of thing you find on the releases meh I don't like that shit either uh, this is pretty normal like you know like the official thing that you're supposed to get when you install Mac not all that stupid pre-installed shit so let me just set my resolution right and I'll show you the Mac OS X version okay 720p well I have to install custom drivers to have my resolution working because it's uh, messed up resolution I'm using adapter as you can see graphics recognized processor is not because it's not a Mac thanks for watching guys uh, hope you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe and thanks for your continued support I've been long for a while but this is a video I always want to make thanks for watching